What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're talking about the iOS 13.3.1 and 13.4 jailbreak status, what exploits we have, what vulnerabilities we have, and of course what we should expect in the near future. So you probably know that iOS 13.3.1 is no longer signed. Apple stopped signing it immediately after releasing 13.4. It was actually quite of a fast act from Apple's part. They usually leave the uh, second signed version signed for a long time, but not in this case for some reason, and the reason is probably the fact that the vulnerabilities for iOS 13.3.1 are actually quite serious. And if you take a look in here on the security content of iOS 13.4, which of course patches the vulnerabilities in 13.3.1, you can see that there are many vulnerabilities in here, including some kernel vulnerabilities, one of which is actually quite hefty. We're going to talk about this. But this is not the only kernel vulnerability we know for 13.3.1. If you remember back in January, this developer in here posted this video. He said, quote, iOS 13.3.1 Data 3 at that time, jailbreak on the iPhone 10, and oh my god, rip B. But don't think that this is only working on the iPhone 10. he also posted this in here. He said, quote, also for the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which at the moment is the latest iPhone available, and it says in here, iOS 13.3.1 Beta 3 jailbreak. Now, we don't know anything about the vulnerability he used in this in here. He is indeed followed by many security researchers in our community, which gives a hint to the fact that he might be trustworthy, and at the same time, since January when he posted this in here, nobody trustworthy in the community debunked it. So chances are there is actually a beta jailbreak available and of course it's kept private for the moment. Now reasons for that could be that the vulnerability hasn't yet been patched, even though the iOS 13.4 is out in here with vulnerability patches for 13.3.1. If this developer never disclosed their vulnerability to Apple, of course Apple couldn't have patched it even on iOS 13.4 and that may be a reason he never released it in the first place, because it could still be zero day. Now we don't exactly know for the moment whether this is legitimate or not, and of course whether this jailbreak is indeed based on a real TFP0 kernel exploit or it's just bluffing, but as I said, since January when they posted this, nobody said that it's completely fake or anything like that, especially no developer that I know of or any major developer in our community. Now what should you do? Well if you're running iOS 13.3, definitely stay there. The iOS 13.3 does have a jailbreak from Uncover, and of course the uh, Chimera was also announced. Though recently Coolstar said that he's not going to do it, I have no idea. But anyways, there is Uncovered Jailbreak already released for iOS 13.3, and there is also the Checkrain Jailbreak in here which works for the iOS 13.3, including 13.3.1 though, for the iPhone 10 and lower. But if you do have a newer device like an iPhone XS, XS Max or XR, you definitely would need Uncover. However, as I said, for iOS 13.3 there is a complete Jailbreak with Cydia available right now. Now if you don't run iOS 13.3, if you made a step to iOS 13.3.1, which at this point is no longer signed, then definitely stay there. Do not update the iOS 13.4. Yes, it does have some important fixes, and I saw many YouTubers make videos about 13.4 having various features that they wanted and stuff like that, but if you wanted jailbreak, it's not a good software to be on. iOS 13.3.1 is better for all devices in terms of jailbreaking because there is a kernel vulnerability in it. Now, if you take a look in here on the security content of 13.3.1, Four, it patched a couple of vulnerabilities, including one in the Apple Mobile File Integrity, but for the moment we're going to skip that one. But there is one in here, actually two of them. There is one in here that says an application may be able to read restricted memory, though this one is completely useless for a jailbreak, because reading the restricted kernel memory is definitely cool and nice and everything, but it's not useful for a jailbreak. We need to be able to write and execute kernel memory. Now the next one in line, however, is actually exactly what we need. It says in here, a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code, with kernel privileges. And this is usually what they uh, name the TFP0 kernel exploits on the Apple page. They uh, usually describe it as this in here. A malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. This one comes from Proteus of Quaiho 360 Nirvan team. Now I do know this developer in here, he is part of the iOS community, he does iOS research, so this is definitely a cool vulnerability. And of course it might be released in the future because iOS 13.4 basically patched that, which is available on 13.3.1, so definitely definitely stay on 13.3.1 for now if you want a jailbreak. If you're already on 13.4, it's unfortunate, but you will not be able to downgrade to 13.3.1. Do however save blobs for both of them using TSS Saver in here, tutorial very soon. So yeah, that's basically it for the moment for a jailbreak on 13.3.1. If you are using an iPhone 10 or lower, you can jailbreak with Checkrain in here. It does support 13.3.1, no problem. But if you have an iPhone XS, XS Max, XR or iPhone 11 or 11 Pro, you're going to need to wait 
for TFP0 kernel exploit, which according to that security content page may not take too long. Thank you for watching, I am Gio Snow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated, and peace out.